Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Inside Scoop. I'm Cara Siboy, CNET.com, joined by staff writer Josh Lowenson. Josh, we're talking all things Apple. Earlier this week, the iPhone 5 did come out, but this time there seems to have been so many rumors, so many leaked photos of what this phone was going to be like. Was there really any surprise about the release? No, I mean, in fact, the, when the when the device was first shown, we knew exactly what it looked like. We had these pictures, we had these renderings. Uh, this thing had been floating around for months. So right. it was really just this kind of sigh of relief that, yes, it's right, it's there, it's done, we're done with this. There's no more speculation. But at the same time, though, if you know so much ahead of time, like down to like this, all the specs of the screen and the pin adapter, like, is there really any excitement over it? Well, I mean, that's, that's hard to gauge. I mean, the big, the big tell here is uh, when it first goes on sale and we have our first taste of that pre-order started, uh, just last night, and uh, the, you know the first batch of the phone sold out in just a couple hours. Mm -hmm. So clearly, people really want it, or Apple doesn't have very many. Uh, we won't really know till they announce those numbers. And do you think this trend of having so much advanced Intel on a device will kind of be the way it is going forward for Apple products? Yeah, and, and to a degree, it actually helps Apple because it kind of gets people frothed up for this. Uh, ah. But it's also uh, people kind of get an idea of what to expect, uh, and there's still chances to surprise here and there, but they also kind of get some feedback, Apple that is, uh, while they're developing the product, which is kind of unique. Before we go on to uh, availability of the phone, tell me, what was one of the surprise that really like got you excited? Oh man, uh, not much actually. <laughs> okay. uh, the, the big surprise last week was really the iPods. Um, no one really knew what they looked like, there have been some rumors, but there are no specifics. Uh, and that's kind of a testament to how there's still a lot of secrecy there. Mm. Uh, it's just towards a product that isn't really as popular as it used to be. Sure. Um, so now availability of the phone, uh, why don't you give our viewers some quick advice on where they can get their hands on the iPhone 5 fastest or cheapest? Sure. Well, I mean, there's a bunch of different options. Of course, the cheapest iPhone is last year's model. It's mm. 100 bucks uh, instead of $200 and up. Uh, of course, uh, if you really wanted to get one, you have to wait in line. Or, you know, as we saw last year, after the first hour or two of sales, you could still get them and just walk into a store. Uh, so we'll see how that goes this year. All right. Josh Lowenson, staff writer, CNET.com. I'm Cara Siboy. Thanks for watching the Inside Scoop.